Good day, everybody. Um, Brian here, quantlabsnet.com. I just want to talk about uh, this uh, new article that just came out uh, from uh, Nexus. I think it's, yeah, nexustrade.io. Uh, you've seen his work before. This guy puts out some, he gets big responses on this. This is another one that he's just put out on uh, OpenAI. Personally, I think there's better LLMs for this, uh, but he's using it. It's just a good example where we're at, are now with coding, trading, trading research, live trading, and just using LLMs for this stuff. Anyways, he says, I used OpenAI brand new O3 mini model to create a trading strategy. It's destroying the market. You can copy the strategy for yourself in a single click. So he's got all the charts. He's using um, the OpenAI O1, O3 mini was reliable. He's also talking about the DeepSeek R1 that there's a big hype on right now. Now he's tried out this 03 mini model. Um, and uh, he's feeling that he can beat the markets. It's a very simple strategy and it works, right? Um, so he's built out this uh, algo trading strategy using an LLM. Um, so to answer it's simple, it's complex multi-step process. You can see right here. I'm not gonna get into that because you can you, you can I'll you just click on the in the description and I'll point you to the blog go to the bottom of the blog and I'll take you to the article. Um, again, if, if it really helps Nexus Trade IO, uh, and again this is the title I used OpenAI brand new O3 mini model to create a trading strategy is destroying the markets. So that's what you're looking for. So continuing along, uh, here we go. Start. Portfolio request, create request, create strategy, create condition, end. I don't think it's that simple, but with the AI LLM stuff, it's, it, it makes a life a lot easier. Um, so it creates a strategy name, action, buy and sell. We want to buy and sell, for example, 10% of the buying power or 100 shares and a description of when we want to perform the action. So remember, this is before... AI agents are coming along. So they'll be a lot more sophisticated to do the same thing. Um, people are right now a little cautious about trading live with an AI agent. I get it. But way back in the yonder days, uh, when we had horse and buggy, people were very afraid to put their credit card on the internet when the internet was brand new. So we will eventually get to this point where we'll trade live money on these AI agents. I wouldn't be surprised. And it won't take very long. Uh, so we create a condition from the description of when we want to perform the action, create indicators uh, which are compared to each other and determine when the condition is satisfied. Now, remember, it's a very simple, very simple strategy. So he's got a long process. We create the portfolio trading strategies. Thanks to the power of LLM, we can uh, be as vague or specific as we want. So he's using the O3 to tra create a trading strategy that can beat the market. So he's saying he can. He's got the charts to prove it, and I believe it too. Um, so he tried it before, market-beating trading. He's got the article here. He tried it with the O1, was capable of creating a market-beating strategy. Um, so here were some of the flaws he discovered. Lack of transparency, didn't outperform the underlying. The goal was to see if O3 was any better. We know that O3 is uh, faster and cheaper, but can it be used to create fully autonomous trading rules? Said, okay, try it out. So several key differences with this article since the original. Uh, the ability to track the progress of any of these portfolios. Publicly shared the portfolios from the original article. I mean, big ups on that. Not, not a lot of trading gurus will do that. Losses or not, you got to give this guy a lot of props for doing this. Um, been deployed for a while. Now anybody could track the progress in real time, uh, regardless of how long ago this article was posted. So. He's actually built out his own platform on top of this. You can see here in some of the charts that he's uh, included here. So this is part of his platform, I believe. I don't know the details on the platform, but again, he did that at the original outset of all of this earlier back in the day, I guess. He's got a new interface. Anybody could take the strategy to create it and clone them for themselves. So this is leading into his service, obviously, payable, of course. You can also look at the audit of the portfolio's events. The audit allows you to understand what trading decisions were made at every step and why. So this is a platform, I believe. You can also clone an audit of the portfolio that I'll create in this article. 
testing in this article will be much more robust, but we're not going to try to beat the market. We're just going to try to outperform the underlying that the strategy is based on. And remember, it's very hard. I, I have to admit, if you're a human financial trading advisor, uh, I think with this going on now, this, no different than any other position or career path, it, this could replace people. And people are going to take it upon themselves to take their portfolios, small ones like $1,000 all the way up to a few million. I wouldn't be surprised. People have enough confidence over time to build these trading platforms themselves or their own AI. I could be even uh, outdone as well. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I've I've been in other career paths where I've been replaced by internet and all that. Um, this is way harder doing so can suggest uh, the O3 is generally very useful for helping traders create their own. And he's got the t right term here, investing strategy. And that's where the human uh, advisors should be taking heed on what's being saying here or being said. So here he's got his full transparent, the exact conversation he had with the AI. Let's take a look. So here it is. I think he's using, yeah, he's using, uh, what was it, um, with uh, good old uh, OpenAI, as he said. This allows to create the strategies, make your own changes, and further promote trust and transparency with the process. With further ado, let's get started. So he's got his portfolio, OpenAI O3 Mini. Um, now, this is the strategy, SMA crossover strategy on TQQQ. I want to take a, a take profit strategy, but no stop loss. I'm bullish on tech long tech long term and don't want it to be stopped out. I also want to uh, space out my buys and, and not go all in at once. After a few minutes, the model responds with amazing trading strategy on its first try. So I guess it's done the back testing as well. If we zoom in on the strategy, we'll see blah 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 blah, and you can see it. Yeah, it's moving up. Strategy outperforms buying and selling the S&P by 500%. Sharp ratio is 1.38 versus the ratio of 1.17 for the baseline. Okay, so for me, if you don't know, I like my two, uh, sharp ratio of two or higher. I don't know how far back this goes. This is another question. Uh, maybe it's in here somewhere. Uh, strategy, but no stop loss. I'm bullish on tech. See, I don't know how far back this goes. But it's a 20-day SMA. 200 day over the 50 day. That that's the simplest type of trade that generally can be trusted. Um, so the Sortino is 1.96 versus the ratio Sortino ratio 1.76. That's be, that's the factor in volatility. Maximum drawdown to average is nearly three times that of the holding the baseline. So the um, from what I'm understanding here that the drawdown is a lot higher than it should be. 15% uh, is the usual standard metric. Uh, on any point in time for any strategy. Otherwise, the strategy is too, uh, too volatile. I, I'm sure he's going to get into this here. So uh, the portfolio is clearly better with risk, higher risk adjusted returns. The baseline is less volatile with much lower drawdown. So that's what he's looking for. See the exact rules of the strategy with the TQQQ, 20 day QQQ, SMA over uh, the greater than the 50 day and Number of days since the last filled by order of TQQ. So that's his uh, uh, window there. Uh, last fill. That's pretty smart, actually. Sell 50% of current transact positions in TQQ when the TQQ price is greater than 1.1 times the 20-day TQQ SMA and number of days since the last filled sell order of TQQ greater than or equal to 3. At first grant, it's impressive to test the time and performance from other strategies. So you can see here, it's fairly simple. He's added another condition. And and believe me, when you go into the deep chat mode with this thing, you can make some very sophisticated things. And they actually work. And we're, we're right now on, what, February 3rd, 2025. We're at a point where these things can generate, like, amazing code under weird, under very weird scenarios. Creating an attachment, I, I can create the old GPT-01 strategy easily with a click of a button. Yeah, because it has all the history there, right? Yeah, if you, a lot of these things can maintain uh, chat history. We see that this portfolio still outperforms the market by a much lower degree than the new strategy. 
In fact, if we zoom in, we can see that it only has two times the return at a lower Sharpe and Certino ratio. This means that the original portfolio is much more risky than just buying and holding SPY. Now comes a real test. If we test these studies for the past year, do they outperform an underlying asset? So now he's going to do his back test. Again, he's doing this with the LLM. Back test both these portfolios for the past year, compare them to 2QQ and the baseline. Here was the result. Pretty impressive. So all the things you hear about Quant Connect, uh, somebody just showed me Quant Rocket. Those those services are pretty well going to disappear. Why? Because the AI, as you can see right here, can do this. And all you have to do is then turn around and say, generate C++ code for me, generate the uh, Python code for me. It's that sophisticated. Okay. So here we go. Old GPT-01 mini strategy underperformed buying and holding the underlying TQQ baseline. The new GPT-03 mini outperforms the baseline with a higher sharp ratio, higher Sortino, and lower drawdown. Uh, suggests that the new O3 model is genuinely better in creating more profitable, less risky algo trading strategies. So he's shocked. I'm shocked for reading this. Okay. I think... This is pretty impressive. So as, as as time marches on with each new iteration of these LLMs, they get more sophisticated. A few other things. When you get the likes of a deep seek coming on the market that are blowing the doors off of, of the highly invested open AI and the like, that puts a lot of pressure on these other, dare I say, legacy LLMs that have to now perform better results at a cheaper result uh, to perform against what is coming out of China. Uh, and I, there was an article said even um, Sam Altman's thinking about taking part of OpenAI and going full on open source because he's realizing that the Chinese are doing it, and um, the 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 folks behind uh, Deep Deep Seek are doing it. And remember, they they were started as a quant fund as well, so remember that. Um, as promised, I'm going to deploy this portfolio in the future. I'm going to create a new paper trading portfolio. One thing we got to remember, though, is very important. Um, if you come to this point where you've got a strategy, you can also deploy it using PineScript. I'm sure you could uh, build out and convert that LLM in using using an LLM to uh, generate PineScript um, for trading views. So you could always do that. And then you are building out a very sophisticated uh, strategy for trading view. And as I said before, trading view is very powerful. In itself. Um, so I'm going to share it publicly. And the reason I bring that up is because what you get on a paper account versus a real world money on, on the line strategy is very different. Okay. Very different. Um, but remember, you're not going to be able to predict or foresee exogenous events, what her, happened earlier today with Trump's tariffs, where the markets just radically tank. These strategies will not cover that and will not be able to um, circumvent that because the, the I mean, it could probably do it mathematically by stating if the market is dropped, blah, 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 get out of the market. But you can then get caught up in all the other trades in a falling knife situation where your broker can't fill those trades. So each generation of the model uh, gets 10 times better than the previous. Yeah, I agree. And OpenAI still follows, is, is a lagger compared to other LLMs, namely Olama that I've seen, or Lama, uh, Anthropic with Claude, um, and now obviously Deep Seek, just for trading. O3 Mini is a leap that impressed me the most for the cost and already inexpensive GPT. A 40 Zero 3 Mini outperformed significantly. It's cheaper, more reliable, more accurate than any language model I've ever used. Okay, I don't know if he is using the only ones I already mentioned outside of OpenAI. Uh, I've shown it to be used for algo trading. I asked Zero3 to create an algo trading strategy. I've shown it that it has not only performed SPY and metrics like percent change and risk-adjusted return, but also outperforms the underlying achieving greater returns with less risk for the uh, past year. I've deployed this strategy for real-time trading. Anybody can copy it, make their own changes, and deploy their version of the strategy easily using using the Nexus Trade platform. So that's that's the bait right there to use this platform that he's built out. That's smart. 
uh, includes paper trading with Monopoly or real trading through Alpaca. Again, if you want to go on steroids and be the best of the best in the business, trading views the one to work with. But just instead, you're not going to use, I don't know, Python, whatever language. You can generate what's being developed here and then just say, please convert this strategy to me in PineScript. And it should. You may need to go through the debugging to make sure it's compatible with the current version of TradingView. But other than that, it's still very powerful. This isn't a minor change. It's a seismic shift. Yes, that's right. AI races on and its impact on many fields like finance is yet to be seen. I think it's positive the way it's looking. Uh, we've been seeing a glimpse of open AI developed model that has potential to beat the stock market. How cool is that? But here's the thing. Potential is a key word here. It doesn't mean it will. You still have to stay on top of the market. You just can't have this thing run against your portfolio with live money, sit on a beach, drinking your Bahama Mamas, and then one day it starts losing money. <laughs> you still got to monitor it. But he's right. The, the power is there. So anyways, he's going to talk about his uh, Nexus trade and try it out, the platform. But I think it's pretty cool. As for me, uh, if you go into my stuff, quantlabsnet.com, just go under uh, Learn, and you can get yourself a free C++ ebook for HFT, High Frequency Trading, True High Frequency Trading, and then that will also lead you to two other books that I put out a few years ago, Trade Like a Boss, and another one as well. Thanks for watching.